Okay, so, um, I need to really apologize. <clears throat> I somehow messed up the schedule. I don't know how this happened. I went over my calendar so much before, and I did this one other time. So, this week is finals week. Um, some of you may have already been confused. Well, yeah, I messed up. So, uh, I am really sorry. Um, I'm still going to take late work as much as possible. Work, um, everything will be due this by this Thursday. Um, so uh, what I'm doing is this. I'm still, this week where I revised is that you're going to watch my lectures, take notes on them, and then you're going to write a final paper with, with uh, your thoughts about this class um, on Thursday as well. Okay, so yes, you are still kind of acting like it's a regular week, but you know you're not having it as bad as some. And you know the way I've always saw this uh, class in particular is that I I give you guys a lot of work continually more than you most likely get in other online classes. And so the final to me is just a way of kind of ending your thoughts on things, not trying to prove that you now are, are master, masters of knowledge of the universe, okay? Um, if you got this far, you're doing fine. And if you're behind, I am taking late work. We need to talk about, you know, uh, um, things, you know, if you're really behind. Unfortunately, I work tomorrow like 12-hour a day, so it's ridiculous. From Tuesday to Thursday, I will only be grading your papers, and I'm only going to be focusing on helping you guys out. Call me all day, cell phone, uh, just call me. You know, text if you want, but don't email me. Just call me or or, or uh, text. Let's just get a conversation and see where we're at, what we need to do. I'm getting a lot of text tonight still. Um, and I want to thank you guys for being patient with me. This has been a rough uh, weekend. I it's a hard way to end the semester. Um, I, uh, you know, the situation was more than just losing a friend. It was a girl that I had a history with, and it's kind of uh, made me very emotional. It was a rough weekend, to say the least. And I know, as I've told you guys before, and I think that many of you who have been in contact with me realize that I've realized that you guys are going through a lot of stuff this uh, these semesters, you know, and uh, I feel like the struggles that I have working several jobs and being a single dad and what you guys are doing is usually about the same thing. And, um, you know, we go on this journey together and we struggle uh, um, to survive in this world as we, learn, as we struggle to, to learn about the world together, okay? I've really enjoyed this class. Um, it's always hard, you know, World Civ, it's such a great thing, but it's, it's it's an overwhelming project with a lot of information, as I discussed at the beginning of this class. But you guys hung in there. And, um, you know, at the very least, when you hear the terms Shiite and Sunni, when you hear Zoroastrian, when you hear Buddhism, when you hear, uh, uh, you know, about Hinduism, Sikhism, you know, what is Islam, the development of Christianity, Judaism, the Talmud. I mean, I'm hoping all these terms I'm throwing out are like ringing in your in your ears saying, oh, yeah, we talked about those things. We learned about a lot of things together. We learned a lot. And right now, as I've been stressing, it's so important to have knowledge right now, to not be upon a fear you know it's like spiders like bugs I don't know spiders well so I don't want to kill spiders in my house or certain bugs but if a bug looks like it could bite or kill or hurt me or my kid if I can't get out of the house you know I often I'll admit that I kill it but I don't want to kill it what if it's, it's like a daddy long leg I don't kill daddy long legs um because I know daddy long leg is not gonna bite me like a, a black widow so, you know, when it comes to cultural things and what we know, um, people, when, when, when they don't know things about the world and things are going crazy, everything seems to them like black widows and rattlesnakes. 
No one can tell the difference between anything that's going on. And that, that phobia makes us uh, destructive, makes us, you know, potentially even do things that we shouldn't be doing. And so I, I'm hoping that this is a real spiritual value to you, to understand the world that you live in, regardless of what it means to you to be spiritual or not. Okay. So I really appreciate you guys. Um, again, I'm sorry that I uh, ended it kind of in a mess up on several levels, but I will get all the grading done for you. I did revise things. I'm hoping that you'll still find ending the semester um, is, is enjoyable on a good note and that you will feel rewarded that you worked so hard and you got this far. So again, um, you know, feel free to always hit me up in the future and um, uh, I did appreciate uh, um, this moment we had together every semester is like a place in my heart. All right. Have a good week. We'll be in touch as needed.